Andrew McGann here alongside an Icelandic Viking and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. I'm told it sounds like Binny and it has an English translation, but if you could just uh, tell us what your name is. Brynjólfur. And what does that mean, literally translated? I hear it's very good. Uh, armoured wolf. And you were here tonight in front of a very hostile crowd. <laughs> um, they were firmly behind your opponent. Well, does anything like that put you off or is it just blocked out completely? I can never compete in Iceland, so I'm always going to be in enemy territory, so better get used to it. And wh why, why can you not? Because uh, it's illegal at the moment to compete in MMA in Iceland. So not, well, not it's, it's not illegal, but it's not been like, legalized, so we don't want to have it because you know, there's no rules. You know. One judge scored that fight a draw and the other scored a 29-28. Oh, Do you disagree with that? Because it seemed like you won all three rounds. Yeah, I think I won all. Uh, well, I think I won at least the first two. Uh, the third one, you know, it was tougher. I was very tired and I couldn't take him down. So, you know, you score that how you won. But he he uh, he landed very good shots on me. So, I'm happy. It seems like you had you didn't mind where the fight went. You were com comfortable in your stand up and against the cage with the help of John Cavan. It seemed you were completely in control. What was the game plan? Was it to cage control and try grind out a victory, or I, I wanted to finish the fight. I, uh, to be honest, I, I expected uh, less from him on the ground. He was better than I thought on the ground. So I was. Uh, I hoped I could finish him there. You know, I was trying to set up uh, arm triangles and stuff like that. But he was <laughs> doing stuff that I'm not used to. People doing on the ground. He was, you know, swinging and kind of moving, squirming, so I wasn't really used to that, so uh, just I was hoping to finish the fight uh, by taking it to the ground because I knew he had you know, some stand-up uh, and I knew he was not good on the ground. Yourself and the rest of the Molnir amateur team, John has been saying, are fantastic and there's great things to come. What's the plan for you this year? How many times do you want to fight? As many as possible, you know. Uh, I'm hoping to fight again in the summer. You know, it's Honestly, it's up to John, you know, he's the boss, so I compete when he tells me to. All I need is flights, hotels and, and my coach. Excellent. Thank you very much. We appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you very much.